Good morning, Trailblazers. Today is Monday, November 8, 2021. I'm Laurel from Mrs. Whitney's class, and I will be our news anchor today. We will now observe a moment of silence. Thank you. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Today's lunch is crispy chicken, chicken sandwich, or old school lunch. Side items include green beans, tater tots, and assorted fruit. Now let's go to Mrs. Keltner and Dr. Poole for a few announcements. <laughs> Good, Good morning, morning, Trailblazers. Happy Monday. What a beautiful morning it out there. And is. we actually got to see you because the sun was up when we were coming to work and school today. So yes, that's hope nice. everybody made it on time. Remember to put that clock back an hour and enjoyed your extra hour of sleep. Yes, I actually forgot. Can you be can you believe that? I actually forgot oh. about the hour. You were already up, though? No, I okay. remembered in the midst uh, of the okay. night. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it was it. good to have that hour. It, it really was. was. Nice. Yes. Well, we have lots of celebrations All this right. morning. Kicking it off first with two birthdays. We have uh, Sergio Brindisi and we have Mila the Bose. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Come on down to the front office because we're celebrating with you as well. Always. And as I just said, we have celebrations. All right, here we go. Starting from with Mrs. Children's class, we have Irene Martin, Go who has me. mastered her uh, edition uh, facts. We have Landon Dotson, Wait who's also Landon. mastered edition facts. All from right. Mrs. Lauer's class, we have Victor O'Brien, who's mastered his, uh, his edition Victor. facts. And we have Presley Conlon, who has finished his her second grade edition wow fast. way to go i Presley. love that First from mrs grade. uh dylan's class we have freddie s who's mastered his multiplication go facts Freddy. and from mrs scoville's class we have wyatt m who's mastered his go edition wyatt. facts and it keeps going All right. from mrs jones class we have matthew o who's mastered go multiplication matthew. facts ella l who's mastered multiplication go facts go, from mrs Jones class, we have Isabella B, who's mastered multiplication Here facts. Go, now, from Mrs. Dillon's class, we have Deacon R, who's go mastered Deacon. edition facts. From Mrs. Mullins' class, we have Max C, who's Way mastered go, edition Max. facts. We still got more to All go. Right, keep going. We I have like Penelope it. H, who's mastered edition facts. Go, Penelope. We have Alexander B, who's mastered edition facts. Go and get ready Alexander. for this because I don't think that we've ever had these many names coming from Mrs. Bird's class that Fourth has mat mastered division facts. Wow, way to go. So Fourth we grade. have right, N.B., 
Ben G, Blake F, Eli L, Garrett H, Jack M, Jillian D, Lily S, Nicole M, and Robin P. What a list. Way to go, boys and girls. I love being excited about celebrating your success. Keep up the great work. Definitely. And I have just a small reminder for all of the boys and girls that goes into the cafeteria in the morning and you have your breakfast. Mm. Please, please remember to take your tray and put them in the trash. Mm -hmm. I, there were quite a few yeah. trays that the custodial staff was uh, putting in the trash. But I know that you know what to do with that. So I'm yeah. depending on you to follow through on that. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank All right. You. All right, Trailblazers. Um, if you're a patrol, reminder, you have a mandatory meeting tomorrow morning at 8 mm -hmm. o'clock in Miss Keene's class. So all patrols. Please report to Miss Keene's class tomorrow morning. We know you won't be on duty, so we will cover that um, with our staff. We have a lost book. It's called Ella, <laughs> You're Amazing. Ah. And inside it's from Aunt Judy. So if this is your book, please come and get this from the Media Center. Uh, let's see what else do we have. So we are highlighting a variety of guests on WDTS this week. We mm -hmm. have some family turkeys that we'll get to in just a <laughs> minute. We also are celebrating um, Holocaust Awareness Month, but it's also Veterans Day this Thursday. Yes. And since we are unable to do our typical Veterans Day parade mm -hmm. and event on campus, we thought it would be fun to interview, for our trailblazers, to interview family members, neighbors, yes. friends that might be veterans. We also have some veterans here on campus, so you All might right. reach out to the veterans here on campus. So teachers, please check your email. Email. We have those interview forms that you can send home on your distribution list and we can make photocopies. So students, um, you might get a form like this, answer the questions, and then yeah. teachers let me know who you'd like to highlight on WDTS this week and next week also for that. So I got a special prize. I was not here on Friday, but mm -hmm. I came to my office and there was a cute box that actually said Montgomery Ward on it. I don't think we've <laughs> seen Montgomery Ward, so we know we're going way back old school trailblazers from um, Dr. Betty Innes, who was the assistant principal from 1989 to 1983. She says, thanks so much for inviting me to share the story of DeSoto Trail School and the beginning of the trailblazers ah. enjoy so this when we opened our school in 1989 was the original rendering of the DeSoto trailblazer mascot right. and this good. is by Jason Martin Kevin McCauley Joy Kilgore from Mrs. Noel's and Mrs. Monroe's oh, class. Oh, so you've all, if you've ever wondered, how did we get to our trailblazer name and our mascot and the picture? Um, this is the original drawing. Like now that. it has, you know, changed a little bit over the years. We've incorporated some different events in there and things, um, textbooks and our logo. Nice. But this is the original trailblazer good, logo. So good. we're going to have this framed professionally and we will um, probably hang it up the in the front way, office. Yes. So mm -hmm. thank you to Miss Ennis. Um, I think it was the Reichert family that Aww. turned all that in. So thank you, yes. everybody. All right. Now let's get to our uh, yes. presentations today. We have Amelia Shalepi that's going to start out and share a little bit about her family turkey. So this is my family turkey. And um, it took about two days to make it. And we were going to do a lot of different stuff to it, but it turns out we just went with this. I like it. And, yeah. The like feathers that. and all the bling. It's a blingy <laughs> turkey. Yeah. Blingy shalepi turkey. I like it. All right, let's pass it on. Next, we have Zach Randery. Hi, I'm Zach Randery, and I made my turkey, and it took two days, and I put fake feathers and pom-poms and some leaves. Oh, leaves and I think the feet were felt? I forgot felt yeah, felt. felt. yeah. Right. I love the texture and the color mm. bright turkey yes. that's a great job all right next we have Stella Loomis um Ooh. so my turkey took about an hour or two to make and I worked on it with my family and um I used uh, cotton balls for the eyes and gobble, and I used a, a ton of glitter and uh, fake <laughs> fake feathers. I like it. I like the like ton of glitter. Mm -hmm. Yes, Stella, there is glittery for sure. <laughs> All right, and last but not least, we have Lily O'Donnell to share her family turkey. Ooh, look at that. So my turkey took about an hour and 25 minutes. Um, the body is made of felt, mm -hmm. and the head 
is made of fake feathers. Mm -hmm. The gobble is made of pom-poms, different colored pom-poms. Mm -hmm. And the f feathers. That's is, awesome. that, is that a backdrop behind it? Is that supposed to be a fence the back fence? there? Yes. I like oh, that. Oh, she went the extra mile. <laughs> I like that, Trailblazer. Yes. Congratulations. They're beautiful. I can't wait to see those hung up. And Did you enjoy your family time with your family doing that, doing the project? Good. good. All right. Next, we have Jacob DeGraw. He is going to share about Albert Einstein in honor of Holocaust Education Week, a f an influential Jewish-American mini-presentation. All right, Jacob, uh, move over to maybe just a little bit. There we go. Perfect. Take it away, Jacob. Albert Einstein was born in Germany in 1879. As a child, he enjoyed solving math riddles and building skyscrapers out of playing cards. Einstein wrote his first schoolery school paper on the force of magnetism, magnetism when he was 16 years old. In 1921, he received the Nobel Prize. He received the Nobel Prize in Physics, mm -hmm. an award for major scientific accomplishments. Einstein moved to the United States from Europe to 1933, in 1933, and worked at Princeton, Princeton? Princeton University in New Jersey for the rest of his career mm -hmm. until his death in 1955. His researchers, his research and life's work helped complete change people's understanding of the universe completely changed the yes. people's thinking mm -hmm. so there um, this is a book that i borrowed from the media center oh. it's um albert einstein and i'm gonna read a quote from inside Wonderful. very it good has a few quotes inside so i'm just gonna read one one thing one thing I have learned in a long life that all our science measured against reality is primitive and childlike, and yet is the most precious thing we have. Oh, I like very that. Good. Thank, Thank you, Jacob. Jacob. Great How, job. What Thank made you. you have an interest to write that report? Um, well, I like Albert Einstein, and I like how he was a scientist because, well, he did crazy things and I am kind of crazy. <laughs> <laughs> my my friends call me crazy and I don't really care. Oh, okay. Good. Well, that's good. Be yourself. Yeah. But yes, Albert Einstein, a great role model. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank yeah. you, Jacob, for that wonderful report. Appreciate okay, your time. Very good. All right, Trailblazers, are we ready? Are we ready? That's, that's it, it for today's, today's edition of WDTS. Make today's mission possible by building your bridge to success. Bye. Bye.